In this video, we are going to solve word problems involving multiplication of fractions. So, meron tayong sample problem dito. And it reads, Mia jogs 5 and 1 half kilometers a day. How many kilometers will she cover if she jogs for one week? So, ang lagi natin ginagawa kapag word problems, meron tayong mga hinahanap na bagay para mas maging systematic ang pag-solve natin. Ang unang hinahanap natin palagi is the main problem. Ano yung hinahanap nitong text? So, obviously, ang problem niya is how many kilometers will she cover if she jogs for one week? Ayan yung pinapahanap sa atin. And then after that, naalam natin kung anong plano natin. Ano-anong operations ang kailangan natin gamitin. Kung tinatanong ay bilang ng kilometers na makakover niya sa isang buong week, tapos binigay yung nakakover niya per day, ibig sabihin nun, you can either add five and a half by itself or to itself seven times or we can simply multiply pwede siguro natin isulat sa plan natin multiply five and one half by seven ito yung nakocover niya per day ito yung inahanap nating number of days which is one week 7 days ang meron sa isang linggo. Meron na tayong plano. Ano naman yung process na kailangan natin pagdaanan? It's the same as carrying out our plan. So, ang plano natin is i-multiply si 5 and 1 half by 7. Let's just go ahead and do that. We have 5 and 1 half multiplied by 7. So, now we have a mixed number being multiplied by a whole number. Palagi natin ginagawa dito, inirewrite muna natin itong fraction natin na mixed into improper. So, Irewrite yan into an improper, improper fraction. Paano natin ginagawa? And multiply itong denominator dito sa whole number. Tapos, tsaka mo ina-add itong numerator. So, ibig sabihin, 2 times 5, that will give us 10, plus 1, meron kang 11, and then in denominator mo, retain mo lang. 2 pa rin. 11 over 2 is the same as 5 and 1 half. Ngayon, pwede na tayo mag-multiply. Kahit whole number pa yan, tandaan natin yung rules sa multiplication of fractions, we multiply the numerator to the numerator and then the denominator to the denominator kaya lang kung mapapansin whole number si 7 anong denominator ng 7? recall that all of the whole numbers have a denominator of 1 so ngayon pwede ka nang magmultiply 11 times 7 will give us 77 habang sa ating denominator we have 2 multiplied by 1 it's simply 2. Now, ito na ang ating magiging final answer kung si 77 over 2 o si 77 halves ay simplified na or naka-lowest term na siya. Makakaisip pa ba tayo ng number na pwede nating i-divide sa ating numerator which is 77 at sa ating denominator which is 2? Kung hindi na, ito na yung ating final answer. Or, we can also rewrite this as a mixed number. Paano natin gagawin yun? Pakita natin sa part na to. We simply divide the numerator by our denominator. Tandaan na yung 77 halves or 77 over 2 is the same as 77 divided by 2. Pwede natin i-rewrite itong improper fraction na to into a mixed number by simply 
undergoing the process of division. So, 77 divided by 2. Ilang 2 meron sa 77. So, start tayo ha. Digit by digit. Ilang 2 meron muna dito sa 7 na to, Which is in the tens place value. So, alam natin na meron tayong 3. And then, 3 multiplied by 2 will give us 6. At tayo mag-subtract. 7 minus 6 will give us 1. Bring down natin si 7 kasi hindi na kasi yung isang 2 dito sa 1. Bring down natin yan, meron na tayong 17. Now the problem is, how many 2 do we have in 17? 17 divided by 2. Meron tayong 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Meron tayong walong 2 dyan, which is 16. 8 times 2 is 16. Tsaka ka mag-subtract, meron ka ulit. Remainder na 1. Now, hindi na ako magdadagdag pa ng place value dyan, ng 0, para makapatuloy na kapag, makapag-divide. Hanggat, hangga, kapag nakuha ko na itong remainder, pwede ko nang isulat yung aking bagong fraction. In the mixed form. Paano yun? Yung whole part mo, yun ang iyong quotient. Kasi siya yung nabuo. Siya yung bilang ng 2 na meron sa 77. Ilagay natin 38. And then, yung ating numerator, yun yung ating sumobra, which is the remainder. Ilagay natin 1. And then, yung denominator pansinin na palaging yung pa rin. Which means that 77 over 2, Pag nirewrite into in proper fraction will be 38 and 1 half. And that will be our final answer. Kaya lang kapag word problem, tandaan, ang iyong final answer dapat sumasagot dun sa hinihingi niya. Balikan natin ha. So ang hinihingi ng problem, how many kilometers daw ang makakover ni Mia for one week? Nahanap na natin yun. Meron tayong plano, napagdaanan natin yung process, at nahanap natin itong 38 and a half. Big sabihin sa ating final answer, kailangan natin yung isulat into a statement. So again, we have Mia, our character. Pwede natin isulat na Mia will cover 38 and 1 half Ano yung 38 and 1 half? Kilometers na siya Distance covered We're talking about distance covered Tapos binigay na yung unit Yun na rin yung gamitin natin Yan Mia will cover 38 and a half kilometers In 1 B And this statement right here Answers our Problem so, ganun lang, mag-solve ng word problem involving multiplication of fractions. Now, it's your turn. Can you do this? Let me know in the comment section kung ano ang iyong magiging sagot. Kung halimbawa namang meron kang hindi, ka na, meron kang hindi na unawaan dun sa naunang part, sabihin mo rin sa akin, baka mas matulungan kita next time. Thank you so much for watching.